So warts, it's a virus that causes the wart um, and it's a human papilloma virus of which there's several different strains of that virus. So you can kind of consider it as dogs. There's hundreds of different breeds of dogs. There's hundreds of different strains of the human papilloma virus. Some that will cause warts, uh, some that will have an increased risk for cervical cancer um, and certain skin cancers. Uh, the human papilloma virus is kind of tricky and difficult to treat. So warts like this, there's not really a one and done type of treatment. Most of the time they're going to require multiple treatments to get rid of this. Uh, so that can include things like freezing. Uh, you can cut or scrape. You can do some chemicals um, like the over-the-counter salicylic acid. Uh, the worst that I've seen that I would not recommend was a guy who was using battery acid on his warts and they just created very big, thick, uh, unsightly scars. So I would never recommend any battery acid or anything like that on warts. Uh, prescriptions, there's a couple prescription creams and things that you can do topically, um, but any and all of these, I would plan on treating for probably about three to maybe up to six months, even with some of the stuff that we have here in the clinic. Uh, they can take a long time. If you try some things at home, you can do it. Just you got to use them every day and you got to be consistent and persistent. So they'll take several months to, to treat and get rid of that. You can do the freezing at home. It's I've seen it work sometimes, but most of the time it doesn't work super well. Freezing that we do here with liquid nitrogen, uh, we can focus it on the ward itself so you don't get a lot of uh, damage around it. Uh, but it will produce a small blister and then that usually will turn into a scab and sometimes the blister can be painful. Uh, we also use a medicine called cantharidin. It's also known as beetle juice that we paint onto the wart and I usually do a combination of freeze and the beetle juice uh, because I think just one alone oftentimes you'll see the wart will kind of start to move outside of the area that's treated and you'll get these donut warts and they can be really hard to treat with that too. So just get a little bit on a Q-tip and then kind of paint on and you'll see it'll turn kind of a white there on it. Uh, there was a study looking at freezing, just freezing for warts, and that study was about average of, I think, six to eight treatments for, for freezing. So some people responded a little faster, some were slower. There was one person in this study that took 21 times for the wart to be frozen before it finally went away. So that poor person took 21 treatments before the wart finally went away. So even with our freezing stuff, it could be kind of slow.